how a vlog is framed is important. It is 14 hours and 39 minutes into the 18th day of May 2021. And we're making the transition from the bed office, the bed research desk, uh, to the gaming and meditation area. Well, that's what we're doing now. That's what we're going going to be doing. But this is the music studio. This is the uh, uh, front room or main research desk. Interesting night. Uh, the dreams were, to say the least, interesting. We often try to think and sort of frame ourselves in a manner uh, of knowing what we're doing and knowing where we're going. And a lot of times, that is far from the truth. There is far from the degree of certainty. And of course, the uncertainties are unsettling, and in many cases, they cause a bit of emotional conflict. Well, the series of dream I had just a while ago were interconnected series of dreams that wouldn't leave. In other words, it was something that ran on and on regardless of the uh, periods of sleep I was in. Oh. And there was a degree of upsetment in there. But the thing is, is as you lie awake f from dream after dream and try to come to some degree of re resolution. Now, noting that the awareness that you have when you're out in terms of the presence of mind, when you're awake is different than when you're sleeping. The presence the of mind when you're sleeping is primarily that of emotion. It's very difficult to control and bring the emotion to a point where uh, a resolution can be evolved from whatever situation there is. However, when you are awake and lying there and you're just starting to wake up, the mind still continues on with the dream and in that state you can start to bring forward a resolution, uh, a, some sort of understanding to the events you just uh, experienced. And this goes back to the death and dreams. How do you deal with that? I mean, one of the things that, are, that people are most afraid of, the ultimate fear, is the fear of death. And a large chunk of the fear of death is that, in, in many cases, is that you're going to be removed from the person. There will, the contact that you have will be no more. And you watch a person, particularly if you watch elder, elderly, elderly people decline, to see that once vibrant person becomes something that is less than vibrant and you're watching a candle is slowly burn its way out. You understand what's coming. You understand what will be next. And there will be a severance of relationship because... Uh, you are not at the capacity to see that there is anything more. There is more. They're there. Ugh. Their sense of presence won't be won't be gone. But you will. Your your their, your experience of them will will be, will be altered severely. And the thing is, this is something that is very difficult. It's, you see, it's difficult on wives, it's difficult on husbands, it's uh, difficult on the children, it's dif difficult on, you know, uh, siblings who are left behind, friends who are left behind. Oh. It is a nice day out today. I'm going to be doing another ride vlog very short, shortly. And the thing is, is that to see what people are doing in their jobs to the elderly, as they supposedly take care of the elderly, isolating them, not allowing, not allowing them to see their children, not allowing them to see their grandchildren, or we're protecting them. No, you're not. You're harming them. If you stand in the path 
of the relationship between two different people, then you are not a good person. You're even though you, it doesn't matter how you may justify it in terms of that kindling relationship is still there. This is, and I also understand that there are people who are abusive, and sometimes abusive people need to be taken, need to be need to be handled in a more uh, in a more uh, direct manner than than a person who is not uh, abusive or of danger. Uh, and I'm talking about physical danger. I'm talking about uh, someone who uh, has degrees of anger and and can't control that anger. Other than that, the relationship should be paramount. The 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 experiences sh that they have, loving experiences, should be paramount as well. Yet the medical system and in, in, in the basically the, these are cold-hearted people within the system. Uh, don't see that. Yes, it is difficult to take care of the elderly. Yes, it's difficult to take care of sick people. It is a chore that is, in many cases, beyond endurance. But what happens, and it, 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 for many people, because it is a job, the sense of humanity that should be there isn't. It's simply, well, I'm here to perform my function. Yet, there is more to performing the function than simply being functional. There is, uh, often particularly with human beings, even with animals, there is an issue of how do you care for them? How do you, about their emotional being, their, their emotional health. And people say, well, well, there's so much mental illness today. Yeah, that's because we, although we function as a society, the society itself is fundamentally selfish fundamentally in terms of its emotion it, there's no emotion there we are all about impulse what we want as we want it and this comes from all walks of life not just uh, those who are doing a particular job at a nursing home or dealing with the elderly or dealing with children in the daycare The people, in many ways, and this is what a moron is. A moron is not simply a term that you bandy about. A moron has a definition. It's a piece. Of, it means a person who is in, incapacitated and needs and requires assistance. The society that we live in today, that is so-called the social society, creates everyone a moron because they cannot operate without assistance of, of a higher authority. And if the instructions are not followed to the particular letter, even though the letter is not always understood and can be interpreted in multiple different ways, and they do do this, I do what? Yes, Minister, yes, uh, Prime Minister, Bart Chester Cronos, to understand that whatever the rules are, uh, no matter how person and or stringent the person says they are to the rules, that there is always a bending of the rules. There is an interpretation of the rules in a manner that, in many cases, can be downright, downright deceitful, hateful, hurtful. And yet, their self-righteousness puts them into a place where they feel they are fully justified in doing what they're doing and have no quarrels about it. Well, those, are the, those, of you who have, those people who have conscience who understand the, the human being, who understand kindness, will have a problem with this. And this is what determines what a psychopath is. A psychopath is not a definition, unfortunately, to Lionel LeBron. It's not a definition. It's a behavior. If you have a behavior of, of indifference to everything around you except for yourself, then you are a psychopath. You may quibble about the minutia, what he calls the nuances, but the reality is if you are a person who has no, uh, any form of attachment, no sense of compassion for anything around you, then you are a psychopath. Of course, now these things are trying to be diluted. Of course, there is now no uh, pedophile. It's, you can't use that term anymore and... This is, uh, according to Lionel LeBron, because incorrect, and 
Uh, and it's not necessarily incorrect. The, the Greeks will use terms in many ways to denote certain things. They will, t in many cases, they will denote the opposite. So, so even though uh, pedophilia means love of a child, it can be used in a term for a person who is hateful towards children to do things that uh, harm them in their own sense of self. And this is the term that pedophilia, pedophilia is, is in. Same thing with uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia is not about a certain mindset in terms of, uh, you know, uh, sense of society. It is basically a term of incest. It is re referred to in Egypt when brothers would marry sisters. Brotherly love. The, the, the sister married the brother in order to maintain the royal family, the royal bloodline. bloodline. He's often talked about the Habsburgs. In the in the royal family bloodline, but he's never applied it anywhere. He never sort of expanded upon its ideas. Uh, but that's that's who he is. That's you know, and you said you observe people for who they are. You don't make a you don't make judgments. You don't go in there with preconceptions. You allow the discussion to evolve, the the observation to evolve, as it naturally would. And then from your, there, you, you get, you're not drawing conclusions. I'm not drawing conclusions. What am I doing? Is I'm simply discussing observation. So, anyways, uh, onward to the next portion of the day. While back at the media room, media room research desk, it is uh, 22 hours and. Uh, 30, uh, 38 minutes into the, uh, 18th day of May. We do have a package opening. And I got these earlier, but I was on my way out and didn't notice them until, until sufficiently, sufficiently afterwards. So here's the first package. Seems a bit of a weight to it. Package interference. Ah, what I need for part of a research a research product the product that I'm working on are banana plugs. These are plugs as such. Mm. Here we go. This these are for speakers. Let's see if we can get a good enough shot at this. There we go. That's a banana plug. So that's that. There will have to be some testing on equipment. So now, what is next? Another small package. Doesn't seem to be any hint of what it is. So I'll take a snippet and try to. Remove it. Let's see here. Sometimes packaging is a little difficult to get into. Uh, particularly if the product is, is done sufficiently close to the edge of the packaging. You don't want to cut it as to end or shut down the um, or disturb, I should say, disturb uh, the contents with a cut. In other words, you don't want to cut into the things that you're trying to get out. And that could be a degree of a bit of a challenge. And so what do we have here? These seem to be screwdrivers, small precision screwdrivers. So I will certainly sort of check these out and sort of see how this ends up working out. Let's 
seems a little odd in here, but anyways. So, another item for the research desk. The tea seems to be working out pretty well. I will tell you know in a few uh, hours uh, into the night as I begin the YouTube stroll uh, for today. I'm leaving my uh, gaming until around 1 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so I'll be uh, doing the YouTube stroll for now. Well, it is uh, 29, 21 hours and 46 minutes into the 19th day of May. Uh, I think we're a little slow on the vlog today. Uh, we've been slow all day today, sort of. Uh, there's just been... Uh, that, when the day is slow, it doesn't necessarily mean things aren't getting done. It just... Uh, there wasn't uh, the moment to sit down and vlog and sort of discuss things. Uh, I've been going through a bit of an issue, a bit of a rough patch uh, in the dream world. Where I'm trying to get the handle on, on an emotion, on a feeling, that I just really can't seem to get a handle on. And, it, and, and, and the bizarre thing is the dreams continue. I'll, go, I'll wake up, go back to sleep, the dream will continue again. Uh, sometimes it will play over. Same dream. I'm starting to get it, but it's it, 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 it's something that's taking me a while to get. It, it, it is a sort of a rough patch. You, you, it, it, it's kind of like, I guess you want to call it like a video, uh, I guess you want to say it's a video game, and you it, you get as many tries, in your dreams you get as many tries as you want, sort of, as long as it plays over again. This is what's happening, it's playing over again, so I get another shot at it. Uh, and sometimes you do a little bit better, sometimes you do a little bit worse. Uh, it is dealing with the emotions that come along with the particular dream that, that you're succeeding or failing at. And there aren't a lot of answers to why the dream is the way it is. Uh... And it is connect, it's connected with a dream I had about a week to two weeks ago. It was a very bizarre dream that was sort of really woke me up. And first I thought it was okay, This is the, it felt like a weight had been lifted. But at the same time, it, I woke up in a start from this particular dream without knowing why specifically I woke up. There wasn't a reason for why I should have woken up. It is all of a sudden... As I woke up, I was aware of something that has happened, but not necessarily knowing what had happened. There's no sort of was no, no sort of no reason for it. I have other had other experiences where there were reasons for what I did, why I woke up the way, the way I woke up. You know, with a sudden awareness. But this one, there was no real indication. It was sort of empty. It was. Um, Nothing sort of over the next few days really transpired, but now these dreams sort of uh, be it seems to be coming into its place. But again, there's no specific uh, uh, reality to attach to. So the question is, okay, maybe it's preparing me for something. Maybe or maybe that this is simply uh, uh, an exercise. It's, it, 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 it's you know the, the, something that cannot be predicted. But at the same time, is you wonder what it is, and it silly runs through your mind, and it it becomes a significant issue. Uh, but the thing is, it didn't really stop me today. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get up, and usually I get up and I get my day started around noon. I didn't get up and get my day started till just about uh, uh, five thirty-six. Uh, I did several hours worth of meditation today. I got some work done on my closet. Uh, I've been having, because today is a, a physio physiological uh, uh, meditation day as well. It, it's a fast day. 
So I've been having my shakes. The shakes have been absolutely amazing. The hand blender just does an amazing job. This is a new concoction. It's, 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 it's a new tea. Uh, and the teas are already concocted because the Chinese and Indian teas are not simply uh, boiled leaves. Uh, <laughs> most people know teas as boiled leaves. It's like a, it's, it's like a leaf broth. Uh, the Chinese and Indian teas contain a number of other different ingredients and uh, the, the different ingredients changes the properties of uh, what it does. And this one is is that that I put it that I put in there is supposed to have a muscle relaxant in it, uh, but not it, it's. But the thing is, again, it doesn't describe it as a muscle relaxant. It, it, you have to sort of understand that chi is used as a sort of a, in terms of a flow of energy, and with the tea you feel something has been relaxed or something has been released. And that's what I've been sort of feeling is that, that the, the tightness in my intestines over the last few days hasn't been there. It's, it's just, it's, it, 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 I've been feeling very good with it. Usually in my intestines, even as I wake up, or even when I wake up uh, from sleep, my body, my muscles are all tense. They're all, it's like I've been, it's like I've been weightlifting. Now, when I wake up, my muscles are very well relaxed. When I'm sleeping, I'm very well relaxed. And the thing is, is that I'm wondering if these dreams have something to do with the tea. Because <laughs> that happens as well. I said before, there was, there was one, one that was, I was traveling on a road was, uh, in terms of my dream. And I was going to a particular place that was kind of far away. But the path I was looking on, as I sort of got the perusal of the entire path, was from my foot to my eyeball, up here. Uh, beginning to realize that the sciatic nerve on the uh, toe next to the small toe, the fourth toe, if you will, the fourth toe, or the third toe from the big toe, uh, that that's where the sciatic nerve begins. This is where the this is where sciatica occurs. It comes up the leg into uh, the back of the calf muscle, to the back of the hamstring, into the intestines, the left side of the intestines, into the left side of the cardiac muscle, just about here, but then also up to the side of the uh, sinuses uh, in, in the temple where the eye is. There is the, it, there is a connection to that. In terms of the nerves, and I've been looking at these sort of going over some of these these acupuncture char charts in terms of what is connected to what, and there there is so much in the foot. You could do acupuncture and acupressure only within the foot, and deal with almost every nerve within the body, and they're all interconnected. There's a, there's a pathway. Yet I saw this pathway in my dream. I was traveling as it was like it was it behaved like it was, like it was a road. But the thing is, how do you describe that? It, 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 and again, this is where it becomes. It, it took me about a week to two weeks to really realize this is what was going on. And because of, at this point in time, maybe it's going to take me another couple of weeks before I figure out what these dreams were about, uh, and maybe to move on. But that happens. This is the way observation is. This is the way exploration is. It doesn't come and go or go by very quickly. There's a lot of uh, sort of intermediate steps that makes you that, that slows you down, so the result, the understanding, isn't immediate. But anyways, uh, the sheets that I got, the satin sheets that I got, working are working very well. They're doing what they're supposed to do because the temperature has gone up. It's dropped the temperature on my, my on my bed, so things are cooler. Uh, the shorts are make things cooler. Uh, <laughs> I'm now organizing my closet with the closet organizers that I had gotten. I still have more to do on that, but uh, bit by bit the work's getting done, and so there's nothing really to complain about. So I just this was kind of the point in time to stop and sort of uh, uh, on my YouTube stroll and. 
just kind of chew the fat. Uh, Clintus uh, is uh, in his own shift that, where that has knocked him off. Uh, there's no more vlog. He's streaming and everything like that, but his vlogs are kind of off. But uh, uh, there is a whole path under Clint uh, under Clintus, uh, a subpath that uh, I can go down, on, and I have just added to uh, the Family Five vlogs uh, subpath. And uh, so I'll go down that eventually and sort of, sort of you know, uh, see how much I can, I can connect to. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. And I will see you uh, probably in a couple hours for the uh, vlog for the 20th of May. Uh, it will probably be the 20th. And see what happens, not vlog for the 20th of May, but that particular day, even though... There is no real break between the days. There isn't a 19th, a 20th, or a 21st. They all run together. It just depends on when I'm awake, when I'm asleep. And that shifts. That, that, that shifts.